What prompts people to be generous? That is the question before us this week as we continue on in our Wise Investments series. Thank you for joining us today, Breakfast Club. Whether you know Jesus yet or not, we are glad that you are here as money is an important topic to all of us. As we have found out so far this week, people can be motivated to be generous through guilt, shame, obligation, peer pressure, all sorts of reasons and none of them are good. But today we are looking at a great reason to give. First though, let me give you the backdrop. The Ark of the Lord, you know that fancy box on Indiana Jones? Yeah, that one. Well, in the history of Israel, they actually did lose it for a while. They lost it to their enemies, the Philistines. Yeah, Goliath's peeps. It did eventually make its way back to Israel, but it did not return at that time as the epicenter of the country. Instead, it stayed at a private home and the people grieved because they felt that God had abandoned them. Fast forward 20 years and a new king named David is in charge. He decided he wanted to bring the ark back as the sole meeting place between God and people, the very heart of the people of Israel. He wanted God to be at the forefront once again. After a major hiccup of having someone die in the process of initially moving it, the ark was eventually brought to the tent of worship, a place where sacrifices could be made, worship could be given, and the whole nation could look to God once more. David was so overjoyed at this that he spontaneously stripped down and danced in front of all the people. We will read the account from 2 Samuel 6 at that point on. And I quote, They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the special tent David had prepared for it. And David sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings to the Lord. When he had finished his sacrifices, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies. Now, watch as he wraps up this event. Then he gave to every Israelite, man and woman, in the crowd, a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. Then all the people returned to their homes. On this occasion, David was feeling joy incredible joy so much that he couldn't help but leap and dance he didn't even care that his wife disapproved nothing mattered more to him than to see god at the core of his nation god being seen as the king above the king in his joy he got generous every person in the crowd got a gift ancient swag something we all get swag so it, it is possible that this crowd measured into the thousands, perhaps tens of thousands, and he made sure they all had parting gifts. Joy, especially joy in the Lord, can make us generous, it seems. If that is the case, could it be possible that when we as Christians are stingy and tight-fisted with our money, it is because we have lost at least some joy in our king. Could it be that we are not as thrilled as David in seeing God front and center? Is it possible that our greed comes from, at least in part, a lack of being astounded by the beautiful gospel of Christ that says we are treasured, adopted, welcomed, listened to, accepted, and forgiven completely by the greatest and most loving person in the universe. Breakfast Club, if you follow Jesus, may the joy you feel because of who Jesus made you to be through faith prompt incredible generosity in you today. May your heart leap and may you dance with passion at all God has done for you, both in what he has saved you from, but also in what he has saved you to. Let's pray. Our Father, you have given us so much. You have brought us out of the darkness and into your wonderful light. You have awakened us from death. You have brought us into the kingdom of the Son you love with full citizenship. 
May the glorious gospel fill our hearts with such joy, such gratitude, such elation that we find ourselves giving freely like David did. Amen. Your question at midweek, Breakfast Club, is when was the last time you gave generously out of God-caused joy? Tomorrow we'll be looking at the occasion of Crossroads events, and I hope that you make part of your Thursday a time to spend with us at Breakfast at Tracy's. We'll see you then. Take care.